Poison Ivy, and today I'm here to invite you to the private world of the Cramps. This is the director here. I just don't want him to know where this secret world is. We always wanted to play at a mental institution because we, we've always had a problem with audiences not being quite what we'd like them to be. And uh, those people just got right into it. When we played there, 16 of the inmates escaped. And it was a big deal and other people found out about it in other mental institutions and we have tried to play some places since then, but it just hasn't happened. We played Dallas one time, and uh, we uh, the op the band before us played six Jimi Hendrix songs, and then we played, and then the band after us played the same six Jimi Hendrix song, and then and then uh, we didn't get paid, and then we when we left, three cars followed us and tried to uh, uh, run us off the road. I never drop my trousers on stage. It's never happened before. It's a completely made up lie. Filthy rumor. I'm a pretty nice guy. Everyone says that. I drive the 56 Dodge. It has a D500 engine, which is the largest. It's the first Chrysler Hemi engine. It's the largest engine ever made. This is my favorite cologne. This is what I wear. It's atom bomb perfume. That's why I'm so explosive. This here is our Liberace hot nut dispenser. Agra, some bells and cigarettes. Looks like me on the cover of one of our hit singles. Okay, uh, this is uh, uh, proof that the cramps have got culture. We have this uh, beautiful original artwork by Wally Wood here. It's a logo for Mad Magazine, which was never used. A beautiful little number by him. He's dead now. He died in Los Angeles recently, shot himself in the head. I'm the queen of rock and roll, and for this to not be recognized is pure sexism. The name of the album is Stay Sick, and uh, the reason that we called it Stay Sick is because we're sick and tired of rock and roll getting such a good name and being so respectable. People are, uh, they're feeding starving people and the good things happening in rock and roll like happen in the, 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 the regular world and, and we don't like that. We'd like to, to keep it unhealthy and sick like it's supposed to be. It can't be rock and roll unless it is and it's not. It's Elvis. I love the early punk movement. I don't remember anything happening since. That's me. Oop. Oh, oh my dad. god. Incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed-up zombies. This one's Betty Page, the most famous bondage queen there ever was. She did things like what we did to you earlier, and if you're not a good boy, we may do more to you very soon. This is kind of a, the cream of our collection, if you use the expression. It's like, a, uh, this is like a, 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 the best of rockabilly, the best of instrumentals that we got. Uh, it's stuff we listen to most often. A lot of these things, they only pressed up like 200 of them. So we like to collect the original instead of getting a reissue because it's something just sounds so much better about it. You know, they just don't make records like this anymore. I'm a vampire. I'm 164 years old. And so I've been around. And I'll tell you right now that the 50s was the height of culture in the Western world. Remember this. 